Hi, I'm Alex Gieses, CEO of Speedify. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use Speedify to make your Mac use both its built-in ethernet and the cellular off your iPhone. Together, it'll give your Mac faster, more reliable internet. So the first step is to install Speedify. It's available in the App Store, it's a free download. Once you install it, you will come to this window. You see there's one internet connection right now, it's that stripe that says Ethernet. It's marked as primary, which means Speedify can use it all at once, which is what you usually want. It's the default for both Ethernet and Wi-Fi connection. Just, if it works, use it. But what we want to do is we want to add the cellular from our iPhone. So here's my iPhone. I plug in a lightning cable. The other end of this cable is a USB-C into my Mac. Once I do this, if it asks whether or not to trust this computer, the answer is yes. I click into settings and then personal hotspot and allow others to join. That's all you have to do on the Wi-Fi side. So let's go back to my Mac. If you're lucky, you'll see another internet connection here. Uh, but in all likelihood, you have to go to network preferences where you normally join the Wi-Fi. See here, network preferences. And you choose the iPhone. It'll probably have a yellow dot at this point. And if this checkbox is checked, disable unless needed, you wanna uncheck that. Uh, by default, Mac OS tries to manage whether or not to use the cellular or the Wi-Fi. Uh, but by unchecking it, you're telling Mac OS to let Speedify manage it. And we're much, much smarter. So that's what you want. So you uncheck that, you click apply, and instantly, there you go. In your Speedify, you now have two. You have the ethernet, marked as primary, and now you have a second internet connection, which is the cellular. And this is over that USB cable to your iPhone using its built-in cellular. And it's marked as secondary, which means it's okay to use it for a speed boost, and it's okay to use it for failover if something happens to the main internet. Go ahead and switch right over to use it. Uh, so, so it'll make give you both the speed boost and the reliability boost. But if everything you're doing fits on the, on the ethernet, the, which is marked as primary, just use the ethernet. So you don't use too much cellular. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Um, you tether the iPhone, you allow others to share. On the Mac, just the very first time, you have to make sure that disable unless needed is unchecked on your iPhone. And then there you go, Speedify takes care of everything else, combining the, the ethernet and the cellular in a very intelligent way. I hope you found this video helpful. Please, uh, don't forget to give us a follow so you never miss a video or live stream from Speedify. Thank you.